welcome back. What are we going to do today? Well, today we've got brand new Disco Sport and we're going to be fitting the set of mud fraps front and back. Okay, so what equipment do we need? Well, first off, you obviously need the mud flap. Uh, you've got a couple of fittings that go with that. This top bolt will go up in there. This bolt here with a captive sort of washer uh, slides on under there and is held up under this part of the fitting. You need a 10 millimeter spanner and a 10 millimeter ratchet, although you might choose to use another 10 millimeter spanner. You'll need something just for starting off your and uh, marking your holes. You'll need a T27 um, Allen key to undo this screw or similar. And then you'll either need a trim removing tool or you can use a pair of wire cutters as long as they're this sort of flat shape on one side. Okay, and you'll need that for removing any of the clips that hold this on that get left uh, in the bodywork. So, let's make a start. First thing we need to do is to remove this trim piece. Um, you can leave the, the wheel on, as you can see. Just turn it uh, to the side you're working on. Give yourself a bit more access. Just get that in there. Undo this. As you can see, it's not held on. And then the rest of it is just pull clips. So just from underneath, pull. And it just pulls off like this all the way around. Work your hand around behind. If you only go a short distance at a time, you should get all the clips with it. If you don't, it doesn't matter. We haven't got one there. I'll show you how to get those out. And you undo them. Now, my car here has the all-round parking system, so parking centres at the front here. Yours may not have that. If you do, the easiest way to do it is just to bend these side tangs here back and actually slide out the parking sensor from its placement in there. That's the trim panel removed. Now we did very well there. I did this earlier on the other side and I've got at least three or four of these clips um, stayed in the car. So all you need to do is take your plastic pliers or trim remover, put them in behind and just slowly pull and they'll pop back out. And then on this panel, all they do is just slide back in like that and you'll be good to go. Right. So as you can see, we've just removed this outside this outside trim piece. Okay, and I've set it aside over there. Now what you need to do, um, and I'll just put the light on here and then I'll take it away just so I'm not blocking the picture, is you can see I've pre-cut here a little sliver out and I've just taken my pen knife, I've just cut up like that, same there, and then join the top across there. Okay, doesn't have to be the neatest, but what you need to do is you just need to trim out that little piece in the recess there. Okay, and what that will do is when you have this trim piece here, which uh, is holding the bottom of the mud flap, it just allows enough space for that to go in and then the whole trim panel to sit flush um, when you've done it. So just a little small piece like that. Um, if it's not quite right, then you can always go back and make it a little bit bigger afterwards. That's not a problem. Okay, so what we need to do now is um, take a take a bulldog clip, okay, and put that so that the two parts are exactly where they would be on the car, with this piece being held on by the existing fitting on the car. Okay, doesn't matter if it moves a little bit because your your hole you're going to drill is plenty big enough. Okay, just note that the gap along the top here, okay. It isn't quite flush, it sits about a millimetre below, so that, that's absolutely usual, okay, and that's where it should be. So what you then do, uh, and you can make this a bit easier if you want by already putting some masking tape underneath uh, and marking it with a pen, but I've done this on two cars now, so I'm reasonably confident on how to do it, is you just hold it tight, take a sharp pointy screwdriver or a gimlet, something like that, put it in the middle of the hole, mark it. Do the same on the other end, okay, and what you're left with okay there's a couple of guide holes there's one there okay uh, and there's one here and all I'm going to do now off camera is just enlarge those to make those um, they say eight but I'm actually going to make it ten and the reason I'm going to do that is that these fittings you've got here okay have some quite large uh, washers on them okay because this is going to come through this side and then be bolted on the other side and having a slightly larger hole will you allow you to line up the mud flap perfectly so that if you've drilled the hole slightly off where it needs to be 
um, then you can make sure the mud flap sits nice and flush on this piece of travel. So what we're going to do is just off camera, we're going to go and drill these holes now and then we'll come back to you in a minute. So as you can see we've drilled two holes. This one at the bottom here we've drilled and we've placed the, the clip onto it. Okay. You need to place this bit with the, the screw thread on the inside of the car because the bolt's going to come through that way. And we've also drilled the other hole here, Okay, as you can see. And we're going to put that one in first because that's the awkward one to put in. So you need to thread your bolt with the washer on it through there. Okay, it does go and there's a degree of flexibility in the mud flap if you need to to get it out. But enough to put the bolt in. And then, this, this is where it helps if you have about three sets of hands. You put this one in first, take the captive nut and just place it loosely okay, where it needs to go. And then you take the other bolt with its nut right for the camera put that through the hole and then I can't really see where I'm doing this put that thread it through there and into the hole and I'm going to have to do that off camera because it's a bit tricky so I'll come back to you in a minute Okay, so as you can see, it's not difficult, um, it's just trying to get it in the right angle that I can see what I'm doing whilst filming at the same time. When you come to do this, it will be much easier because you're not worried about the, what the camera is doing. So I've just got both bolts in now, okay, they're both sort of loose. And I'll just put this on here and tighten it up. Now you've got to, in the instructions it says don't tighten to any more than 9 newton meters. Now in English that just means don't tighten more than hand tight because all you'll do is just distort uh, the plastic around here. So that is with me doing it by hand. I can't get it any tighter than that. I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so as you can see, we just had to go and get a ring spanner. We put that on there and hold it there. Okay. We, again, we turn this over. Obviously, I'm trying to do this for the camera here, so it's not normally as awkward. And we just do this up again. You don't need to be any more than hand tight because you'll distort um, all the plastic. Okay, so this goes in with the electrical connector to the top. There's no lip or anything on this one, so just start off working these clips slowly where you see one into each hole all the way around, okay? Get to the top there. Uh, and you can see there's a black guide pin goes into that hole just slowly push around. Leave these couple free at the moment and then if you work down okay, this top clip here goes into there and these other clips go into the bottom. You just slowly push everything in to make sure it all fits well. Push this in at the bottom as we can see there and then again if you just come round have a look at where I'm seeing. You can see the reason we cut that hole out was to allow that clip underneath and when we do that screw back up in just a second what we'll find is that will all be drawn in and that is your wheel trim so your mud flap fitted.